The next feature we are going to review is the action menu. This is a menu um, which provides access to multiple features. Um, to open this, the, the action menu, you just need to click on the uh, menu button on the left bottom corner. And here is uh, the options of your of the menu. Let's uh, let's see. Let's check uh, the different options briefly. The first one is back. This action is the same as the back uh, button of the of the system, which is this one. So I'm going. I'm not going to press it. Home button again is uh, exactly the same as as the um, device home button which is in this device is, is this one and uh, the overview button <coughs> is again the same as the overview system button remember the overview uh, button allows you to list the currently open applications let's return to its mouse next is the scroll action that we will see later uh, here we have the zoom in and zoom out actions these actions are need to uh, to zoom into contents to enlarge and contents and to zoom out or shrink contents to see how it works let's open maps so let's go home now open maps okay and once open if you select uh, the zoom in action the content is uh, oops is uh, is enlarged again let's try it again And if you zoom out, it's the other action. So you shrink the contents again. Um, taking into account that uh, uh, due to um, an Android system limitation, when each mouse is performing an an action like uh, like a zoom in which is an action that takes some time so it takes some time to to run you must must keep your mouse uh, without moving it if you move it let's see now what happens so if i select zoom in and when i release if i move it you see, your device has cancelled this gesture because you move, basically. So, uh, again, this is uh, an Android limitation. His mouse tries to, well, to to avoid such a limitation, but in in for some devices, perhaps may be problematic. Check, test his uh, mouse with your mouse device and see if it works properly. We hope that in future Android versions, this uh, problem, this issue is, is resolved. Okay, let's continue with the menu. The next one is the swipe gesture, which we will see later. The long press uh, gesture, uh, this one, well, long presses are used to reveal additional modes and features, for instance, when you press on the back of the of the main screen of the home screen let's try it so if i long press and perform a long press here on the home screen see how here appears these buttons that allow you to set the wallpaper the widgets settings and and, and so on back and let's continue with 
the following action, which is minimize. Minimize is the same uh, is the same as uh, touching the screen with your finger, which minimizes his mouse. You can also minimize his mouse by using this button here in the menu. So again, this is now minimized, and I can enable by clicking again here. Okay. Let's go to the next page. The next action is the notification one, which opens, which is placed um, the, the screen with uh, the last notifications and some settings and so on. The button position allows you to change the position of, uh, of the button that opens the action menu so can you move you can move from here to here or back to its original position and finally um, the last option is double tap with um, which is used to perform usually a zoom into contents. So let's open maps and try with the double tap action. For instance, if I press here, the contents, uh, sorry, it perform as zoom it. And again, for instance, zoom in for the scroll gestures are used to move continually through contents for instance to scroll uh, the contents of a web page or uh, the contents of a map to scroll contents well let's how it works with maps let's open maps Now, if you open the action menu, select scroll, notice how appears this icon on the center of the screen, and when I move the pointer, these arrows points to the direction in which the contents will scroll to. For instance, if you want to scroll up, let's click here. It moves up, up again, or down. Oops, I have to remain without moving it to the right or to the left. The other um, gestures are the swipe ones. Let's return. Let's return to his mouse. Okay. Swipe gestures are used to slide elements. For instance, to unlock your smartphone, to move to the next screen, or to discard a notification. To perform the swipe gestures is like uh, performing scroll once but choosing the other option. Let's try it with um, trying to slide uh, to go to the next screen. Here you can see we have four until four screens. Let's move, let's, let's perform a swipe gesture to move to the next screen. So first I need to choose here the swipe gesture. Then uh, first I select the the star uh, point of the gesture that is uh, in which position you are supposed to hold down your finger so let's start here now the first the initial the start position is is fixed and now let's choose the end position which maybe it's here and there we go 
we scrolled or move to the next screen. Let's do the opposite now. Let's swipe back again. In this case, I need to first start the gesture here and finish the gesture here. And 